Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam ya Shalom. Koholoyim la yawa ba shim yawa shai ba shimra kaha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that are here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson and praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just an article, man, you know, I've seen where it just pretty much is showing how far Esau, Edom, the so called white man or the so called white race is falling. You know, these little trinkets, these little gifts. These little things that they've given you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you know, they want um, um, part in it, too. They want, <laughs> they, hey, they want a cut, too. You know what I'm saying? The shit that they don't, you know, they won't give you no reparations. They give you a couple of little programs, you know what I'm saying, where you're because you're so-called disadvantaged. But they want a part of that, too, man. Right. So it says three white students sue University of Oklahoma, alleging school awards black students more financial aid. The plaintiffs claim they would have received more financial aid if the university didn't discriminate in favor of black students. Okay. It says uh, three white students are suing the University of Oklahoma, alleging the school discriminates against white students through race-based financial and dis aid decisions. Law firm Cooper and Kirk, alongside the Oklahoma Council of Public Affairs, filed a class action lawsuit May 15th on behalf of Students Kayla Savage, Logan Rines, and Braden Johnson, they are seeking compensation for any and all financial aid that they have been wrongfully deprived of because of their race. The lawsuit claims that the university's race-based financial aid process violates the 2023 U.S. Supreme Court ruling that banned the consideration of race in college admissions. The lawsuit follows a similar interpretation stated in the letter Ohio Attorney General Dave Yaw sent to that state's college and university leaders. The letter, the letter said the majority opinion considers race-based college scholarships to be disguised race-conscious admissions policy. It also claims the university's financial aid practices violate the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment and Title VI of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Okay, so why did you come up with civil rights to begin with? Or why why did you act as if you was coming up with civil rights? It was because you was treating niggas so bad. <laughs> God damn, bro. Esau. Hey, but you know what, though? Hey, this is a beautiful thing, though. It says the lawsuit against OU cites an alleged statement from university official and interpretation that race-based scholarships are considered admissions policies. And an analysis of public data finding that black students receive more grant aid than other student groups. Savage, a senior who self-identifies as white and non-Hispanic, non transferred to OU at the community college and received no financial aid from the university. The lawsuit claims an official from the University of Oklahoma Office of Admissions told plaintiff Savage that financial aid was generally not available to students like her, but would have been if she were African American. The University of Oklahoma takes seriously its obligations to students and the property administer financial aid. A university spokesperson told Best Colleges in an email statement, while we cannot comment on the specifics of the ongoing litigation, our policies and procedures adhere to applicable laws. Ryan's a junior and first generation student who self identifies as white and non Hispanic received one merit scholarship of one thousand dollars, according to the lawsuit. Johnson, a self-identified white non-Hispanic undergraduate who is who is in an accelerated master's degree program, received four thousand dollars per semester merit scholarship, other aid totaling twenty-seven fifty a year. The lawsuit claims that each student would have received additional financial aid un, aid from the University of Oklahoma if the defendants did not engage in racial discrimination when according to financial aid, when awarding um, financial aid, Salakia. Also, according to the lawsuit, a statistical analysis of public of publicly available data shows black students receive more institutional grant, grant aid from the university than other students, even when controlling, um, controlling for family income. The lawsuit says this analysis proves the extent of discrimination stemming from affirmative action policies and university grants that benefit some groups of students and harm others. 
the lawsuit in another challenge to diversity, equity, and inclusivity, um, DEI policies in the state. So, you know, they're getting rid of all that shit. That DEI shit is out of here. Yeah, they're getting rid of all that. Last December, Governor Kenneth, um, Governor Kevin Stitt signed an executive order banning public state colleges and universities from using funds for DEI programs. So, see, you, you Negroes running around here, you, you're Americans. You think you're Americans. But, see, Esau got that perpetual hatred for you, you so-called blacks. See? Because there was a time when it was embarrassing for them to even look for aid like this. But that's how bad they're doing. When they got to fall back to, they got to fall back to Negro mode. They actually the new niggas. <laughs> that's pretty much overall what it is. It says in Oklahoma, we're going to encourage equal opportunity rather than promising equal outcomes. Stitt said in, press, in, a, in a press release. Encouraging our workforce, economy, and education systems to flourish means shifting focus away from exclusive, exclusivity and discrimination and towards opportunity and merit. So basically what he's saying is, is to shift gears from you Negroes back to them because they're doing bad. That's all that, that, that really means. We're taking um, politics out of education and following out on preparing students for the workforce. The executive order also banned DEI education training, loyalty oaths, mandatory pronoun disclosure, and DEI statements on the job applications. Colleges have until the end of May to comply and eliminate or dismiss non-critical personnel in DEI campus departments. Yeah, and there you have it, man. Now, let me get this one real quick because this is the first one that comes to mind. And we're not tripping on it, man. Look, we, we get up, we go get our daily bread. That's it. We ain't think about Esau and his bullshit. Esau is losing. He's losing bad. You so-called white people, man, y'all looking real terrible on the world stage right now. You know, because this was a time when civil rights was going on where, you know, of course, you know, they, you know, they was like, you know, let, let's let's throw let's throw these niggas a little bone. Now they want the bone. <laughs> they doing so bad. They want to need the bone, man. It's crazy, bro. Can't make this up. Ecclesiastes 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy, and a tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing. You're witnessing the fall of your enemy. There was a time when I'm telling you, that you think it was embarrassing to ask for, uh, for so-called white people to be asking for some aid like that. Because they wouldn't have wanted to be considered to be um, on the level of a nigga, man. Because niggas only, you know, um, um, that, that, that's a nigga level of, of low, the low, 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 the lowest of lows. So, so what you're witnessing is they, they, they're turning into the low of the low. The base men that they are. The scriptures talks about them being base men, basement. You know what a basement in a house, you know, if you live in a city, that, that's the lower part of the house. They're the lowest part of, uh, 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 of um, the world, man, as far as um, the races of people. But yet the Lord placed them in power to run things. You know what I'm saying? So they're, in, you know, they're in power. This is their kingdom. But guess what? They're losing in their own kingdom. And this lets you know that soon the Lord is going to really cut them down to size, man, and bring them back into the, um, the position that they really um supposed to be in, which are peasants, man. That's pretty much what it is, man. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, this shit is funny. It's, and then when you go into the comments, you know, hey, Esau, Esau hates y'all Negroes, man. This person says, everyone knows this is true. I hope the students win. The schools should award financial aid to students in need, regardless of their race. But see, they're not they're not looking at the fact of, OK, what where does this stem from? Where does this stem from? You got a 400 year um, um head start. What, what you know? These little things that they that y'all so called doing for so called black people ain't shit. So and but you want a part of that? You got a whole four hundred years head start. A whole four hundred you a whole fucking five centuries like a half a millennial and a head start on Negroes. But yet something like this is bothering you so much. That was a program that was supposed to have been for them. You shouldn't even be even look. I'm sure it's other programs that you got going on. Why don't you um? Hey, they just gave um the Israelis a, a whole bill. You should get you a bill. Get you a bill. Um, anti-white. Um, uh, anti-whiteness. Get you a bill. 
then they can put some of them funds towards you. They can allocate some funds towards Israel still, allocate, allocate some funds towards you so-called white people in America, you know? Allocate some funds, continuing doing what they're doing for the so-called blacks. Everybody got something going on. Everybody got a goddamn parade. You cinco de mayo it. You fucking, <laughs> you got a, a Black History Month. You know, you got, uh, 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 you know, um, Columbus Day. You got, uh, you know, you got all these different days for everybody. Everybody supposedly be equal here from what y'all saying. You know that there are certain people that that are um, at disadvantage. So what's next? Y'all going to be like, oh, well, you know what? Uh, we're suing the U.S. government because we don't get food stamps. <laughs> we don't get uh, uh, them black people. They're getting the food when we know that really in reality, y'all getting all the um, the resources anyway. It's far more y'all on um, uh, uh, on um, government assistance than um, so-called black people. Why? Because you're the majority from what you say. Aren't we the minority? Aren't we the 12 percent of the country? But y'all trying to act like we just gobbling up everything. All I know is they taking money out. of Now, me, preferably the money that they take out of my check per week. Why don't they go towards my people? Well, how's about that? And they ain't got nothing to do with you. Why are they sending my money to Israel? Why are they sending my money to Ukraine? Should I go and get a lawsuit? I should. I mean, you know what I'm saying? If I feel, felt like I had time and the energy for that shit, because my taxpayers' money shouldn't be going towards no white people at all. Especially not in another country. And even in the Americas. I mean, shit, America's not my country, shit. Fuck y'all taxing the shit out of us for. Here you go. The money, the money that you're actually getting is coming from uh, uh, Negroes as well. So, so what's going on here, man? Anyway. This person says DEI has divided our country more than ever. No, nah, no, nah, your country been divided because we've never been a part of you. They get to acting like, you know, well, us, us. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, ain't, ain't never been. No, us has always been you. So that little program that you're fussing about, that was something that was slid to the side. Like, you know what? These niggas, hey, we got to do something. We enslaved them. We done them all kinds of dirty. We ain't going to give them a bunch. But we'll give them a little bit of something to make them seem as if, you know, a few of them can, can fall through the cracks, so to speak, and come to these colleges and, and make something of themselves. All right. So so this shit is outrageous, bro. <laughs> uh, man, I'm telling hey, but 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 this is um, it's also got to do with hatred as well. So let me get that one. Let's go off into. Uh... Yeah, Esau, hate y'all, man. Y'all better wake up. I don't give a shit about none of this. I say y'all go for it because it just shows who you really are. And a matter of fact, that's a that's a portion of them telling on each other. Ezekiel 35 and 5, it says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. So this is what's coming for you so-called white people. And we're under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And you know, going into Isaiah chapter 31 verse 1, it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt. You Negroes that's dependent upon this so-called white man, the Lord going to deal with you anyway. You better get away from this man, man. And so I'm going to end out there. You know, I got a little uh, company pulling up. but got to do something real quick. But I seen this article and was like, Yeah, Ali, Esau want a piece of the bone that he gave you. With that, Kwame Shalom.